guys welcome back to the channel and some more alluvium so today we're going to be looking at a couple things including staking and looking at a lot of the visuals and the artwork that are coming we know it's about 30 days till we're going to get the next trailer um the initial trailer really blew up and it has just been continuing guys we know this is going to be a triple a rated nft game which I'm stoked about. I, I have quite a bit invested into it, so I'm really hoping that it pays off. I've actually got a lot of other people on board with the game. Um, to, to really get into it and see the value of the game, you have to be a true hardcore gamer. And, and looking at Alluvium overall, when you think of like StarCraft, it has the element of designing and building your own towns, your own villages, leveling up your buildings, things of that nature. The the PvP aspect or, or the creating aspect of the gear, the armor, the weapons, everything of that nature also falls into the game. The exploration event from an open world RPG, the leveling, the heroes, the Pokemon aspect of catching the alluvials. It is going to be massive, guys. It, it takes so many different genres of games and literally they're putting it all together into something that is just going to be the the best that I have ever seen and making it you know a PC game and a mobile version is going to be absolutely insane so let's go ahead and look at some of the staking when it comes to alluvium so ultimately there are a couple different pools which we'll switch, switch it to our focus window here so this is the staking function of it we do have this unlocks when you stake alluvium guys we have 558 million dollars staked already and as you can see total rewards over 600 over 600k um total distributed in rewards now we just came out with a brand new flash pool which was the link pool the biggest one by far yet guys that is right 43 million dollars have come into the link flash pool um the apy was about 580 i think last i looked at it um once the pool came on online and live the apy went down to 58 remember this is 28 days um that your token will be staked within the pool after 28 days you are going to have to pay ethereum gas fees which are astronomical right now definitely adding this little gas price estimator in here does make a big difference guys make sure that you're not paying astronomical fees for gas if the transaction can wait go ahead and wait because after the 28 days are completed you are going to have to pay the gas fee once if you staked your link a second time to unstake it um, and get the rewards out of here now, in addition, most of the core pools did go down slightly. This was about 80 something. Um, Sushi LP was about 570. So they did come down slightly as we continue to see more players that are vested into Alluvium and buying more tokens, adding more TVL to these. They are ultimately bringing down the value of the pool or the, or the price of the pool overall, little by little. Now let's go ahead and look at some of the visual effects and this is what I am so excited about guys and I'm going to break them down a little bit um, and what I really hope to see. Now when I look at the biggest fears, two things that I'm really worried about um, is one, the amount that we're staking here. We know the ILV rewards are going to slowly decline but ultimately we don't know the price of the land. So if the basic land let's say the, the tier one land is going for you know three four five thousand dollars it's going to be very difficult for a lot of players to get into this game i know there is a free aspect of it but ultimately if players really want to progress and do well in the game i feel like it is going to require a little bit of an investment um or it's just going to be time just like a, a lot of other games so i think that's going to be one big barrier for entry is going to be the price in addition, they are putting so much into this game. Um, I hope it is not going to be the inevitable delays. Now we've seen that with, with a, a couple different games in the past where they want to get it perfect. They want to get it, you know, th there's so much content to the game that the content of the game is actually not coming out of it. Because again, th there is so much, which we're going to look at in just a minute with the artwork and the design and everything of that nature. So right now they're going to do, I believe it's going to be a beta in Q1 of 2022. And I hope it doesn't get pushed to Q2, Q3, whatever it may be, just so they can really pinpoint and finalize the game. But two things that, that are a little bit concerning, but when it comes to Alluvium, when it comes to cryptocurrency in general, guys, 
do not invest more than you are willing to lose just in case something should happen with this the game doesn't come together um the price of the iov token drops in half let's say you know it's 472 now let's say it goes to 250. um make sure that the rewards that you're getting out of here are well worth it um, also, you can get an IOV or SIOV, synthetic IOV, um, is going to be used within the game. So you can see here, 270 million, which is going to be based with revenue distributions, which we'll talk about at another time. And then SIOV, so the 13.31 million can be used in game, but it can also be used for land sale, which is the reason why when it comes to staking or when it comes to the rewards, a lot of players are just holding onto the SIOV to see, again, the price of the upcoming land. But enough about that, guys. Let's go ahead and we'll get into the actual artwork and what is going into this game. All right, so the first one we look at is the alluvials themselves, guys. Look at the alluvials. Again, with, with the Unreal Engine, with, with the build that they're putting into this, you can see the artwork, you can see the graphic design, you can see the, the flawless execution in the, the pinpoint detail that they're putting into the, the alluvials. It, it's going to be crazy. But looking past what you see here, um, you know, the fire snake, look at the background, look at the graphics, look at the the world you're in. It, it is really going to be an absolute insane world to get into. And again, look how absolutely perfect they look when it comes to the design, the animation, the movement. That, that's why I was worried about the amount of time it's going to take to do this can be just absolutely, th th there's no way, you know, that it'll ever be done or it could ever be finished because it's always going to be little tweaks. So similar to the snake that we just seen, look at some of the, the, the water captures, the features, guys. Look at the graphics. Look at the way they are designing this and how realistic it looks. Again, it's crazy to see the amount of time and effort goes into building a waterfall, into building a snake. When I think of some other NFT games, when you look at like Axie Infinity, it is little, a lot of people just say blobs. It's little blobs that make up the game. There's not really much animation. They run into each other. Um, so it's very basic when it comes to a lot of the animations within the game and that is not the case with this game. This game is so far over the top with the animations and with everything that we see here, especially with the land, with the design, um, the, the flawless execution of this game is going to be absolutely incredible. Looking here again at the 3D rendering, you can see right there is your hero. A lot of people really try to play the uh, Where's Waldo game, but you can see, so moving up this terrain, um, you can see exactly how crazy or, or absolutely how massive the terrain is to, to go through or navigate, whatever it may be. It just, it, it's massive, guys. I don't think a lot of players realize how large scale or how big the world actually is. Um, and we're, we're yet to see exactly what it looks like in game and how massive it is. But all of the pictures, all of the relationship to the size of the plants, to the you know the the aspect of the world itself is just absolutely mammoth from there i just want to run through again some of the 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 visuals that you're looking at here guys so we've seen kind of the 3d rendering so this is kind of a mock-up art of the land absolutely awesome on how they are building these and again the entire depth of some of these is crazy guys it, it's going to be interesting to see again the size if you're going to run into other players exactly how large the land plots are going to be we still have yet to see where how long does it take to move how long you know how big are the land plots um how long does it take to build things what is a resource what is the cost there are so many questions about this game it is absolutely crazy to think and even there guys right there is your character you see a little tiny dot right there um, that is the character and the scale of everything this game brings. Now, this is some of the, the um, artwork that they're putting in there or some of the things that you're going to find within your land. So there are some very cool pieces here, which again, it the amount of detail that goes into this is just absolutely crazy. 
But one thing that I, it was kind of an aha moment, uh, Mozart is going to be your main guy. So so this is the, the main kind of your utility bot. Mozart is his name. If you've seen, he is the bot over on Discord, which is really cool. So they have all different features that he can do when he's frustrated, when he's um, angry, but this is looking for the heat map creation. So I, I seen him and I've seen him a lot, but I never thought he is what you actually carry on your back. So as you're traveling throughout this mammoth land, um, this is going to be your hero and there he is on your back. You see his little cord antenna right there, but he actually just clips right there to your back. Um, when you need to deploy him, he hops off, he does what he needs to, but this is ultimately how you carry him around on the suit. So these are pictures that we've actually seen for a significant amount of time, and we've seen different layouts of what this looks like, the male and the female. Um, but until a, I believe it was this morning or maybe even yesterday, um, again, here's another very cool shot. You can see Mozart, his two little eyes right there on his back. But now we see them in color, guys. So we're not sure if the color is going to be upgraded armor, if you're going to be able to actually create your hero how you want to within an RPG aspect, which I think is going to be the case because there are a ton of different colors and a ton of different layouts. Remember, this is a massive multiplayer um, RPG game. A, a lot of players don't, uh, or because of the size of the game, I think a lot of people kind of overlook that it is an RPG, it is a role-playing game, which is going to be massive, guys. So I'm not sure if you're gonna develop your skills and your talents as your primary hero. I know the Alluvials will have skills. Um, you could level them up, you can evolve them, you can use shards to capture them. Again, they're taking so many aspects of, of so many different games that I love, which is why I am so vested in this game. It is very cool to see exactly what is going to become of this and what Alluvium is going to do. I like the white on black, that is very classic chic. Um, awesome looking designs for all of these heroes guys i just cannot wait to get more content um see more of the avatar videos remember it, it it's kind of an nft card collecting game you can collect the cards you, you fight with the cards those are the alluvials you can buy them you can sell them you can trade them you can do that with the resources you can do that with the fuel um land purchase is coming soon there is just an absolute insane amount of stuff that is still coming to this game and we're just keeping an eye out for it guys i'm super excited so let me know in the comments what you guys think very cool it is coming soon hopefully within what three more months but land sale they're talking october november for the land sale still don't know the dutch auction or the prices um, if it's going to be random plots, if it's going to be random resources, if it's going to be random gas, um, all of that is still yet to be seen. So as we continue to get more details on the game, I'm definitely going to show them and share them with you guys. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, this is going to be all NFT crypto games. Um, this is the one that I'm really focused on right now. The time and effort is going to go into Alluvium. So if you have not, guys, go ahead, sub to the channel um, so you can stay up to date with all of the content that we got. And as always, thank you guys for watching.